Right then, this is a walk around video and this is for a really, really stunning Honda CRV 2 litre EX manual. Uh, this is the newer version on the 2012 plate, um, finished in white with a black leather interior, just 48,900 miles recorded on the car and it is one of the cleanest CRVs you're going to see anywhere, absolutely amazingly clean. Front of the car, lights and lenses, completely clear and intact, uh, bumper and absolutely clean, likewise bonnet of the vehicle, it's hardly a mark or stone chip anywhere on there at all. Near side of the vehicle, mirror smooth in the panels, absolutely clean. Near side front alloy, the one takes all the bashing, absolutely nothing on it at all, no marks, Michelin tyre fitted. I think it's Michelin's all round from memory, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. But the panel work is extraordinarily clean. Um, near side rear, yeah, wonderfully clean. And coming around the back of the car, completely unmarked. And then offside, driver's side of the vehicle, again, blemish free. I mean, it really is immaculate, this car. Offside rear alloy, completely unmarked. Again, Michelin tyre. Oh, yeah, I was right, it was Michelin's all round. My memory doesn't serve me well these days, but there we go. And then final alloy, again, completely unmarked. It is absolutely amazing condition. Coming to the back of the car now, massive, massive boots in the CRVs. And again, inside the car, it's been treated incredibly gently. It's wonderfully clean back here. So coming into the back, and this is where, if any CRV is going to be heavily used, this is where it is, because they are essentially family cars, and yet this one has been given very little use indeed. Um, it obviously has been used, uh, but it is wonderfully clean. Coming to the front passenger side, again, absolutely, incredibly clean. The leather work is absolutely beautiful there. Finally, come to the driver's door card. Oops, sorry, just been tapped by a bee. <laughs> Not good with those. Um, but absolutely as clean as a whistle. Uh, full set of mats, I should have pointed out, in the car. And driver's seat, the one that takes all the bashing, but is has taken its miles wonderfully, wonderfully well. So inside the car now, engine's running through this section so the dashboard can be seen illuminated, which to all intents and purposes looks absolutely as new. And you can see there, sat nav working perfectly. If I pop the car into reverse, you get that lovely clear gridded parking camera, all working exactly as it should. Dual zone climate control system, start button, everything working exactly as intended. Then come across the main dashboard binnacle, and you hopefully can see in there, 48,962 miles. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all whilst the engine's running. Um, steering wheel looks and feels absolutely as new in hand. And as I say in the following road test video, this one's equipped with this brilliant um, auto cruise control system with the radar control. And as a result of that, you got the CMBS collision mitigation braking system. Again, a lovely option for this car, which I can explain more about if uh, you wish to call, or obviously you can peruse Google to find out what that's all about. But it is a lovely option to have fitted onto this car. But it is an absolutely exquisite example it really is finally just to quickly show you owner's manual pack and lock, lock and wheel that key both here and present with the car right then this is a quick road test video and this is for a honda crv 2 litre ex manual this particular car is registered uh, if i can find it oy62 tyc our mileage currently showing on the car is 48,955 miles. The reason we do these videos is basically so that if anyone's looking at the car in an advert online, they actually get to see that very car in operation. Uh, we feel it's really important um, because we know to our costs just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look fantastic in the photograph and in the description, only to get there to find out it's got a fundamental issue. Um, which you should be told about before setting off so hence that's why we do it it's also done on these very quiet country roads 
very close to our premises. Um, this actually forms part of the road test route and obviously hopefully then will be representative of what you'd feel should you be offered a test drive in the vehicle. The car itself has been very very well looked after and it immediately feels like it because it is so tight to drive uh, the engine starts absolutely instantly it settles to completely smooth even idle temperature gauge running at a third which is exactly where it's meant to be on the honda car and aside from a low fuel light so there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car uh, the engines are absolutely brilliant brilliant engines for a whole host of reasons actually um, most people think of Honda engines basically as being incredibly reliable, and of course it is. Um, they're also unbelievably long-lasting, uh, with just regular maintenance. Uh, they're cam chain driven, so no big cam belt services to worry about on them. Um, but they've got a reputation for you know reliability and longevity, which is absolutely unmatched in its class. But that's really only half the story, because the other part of it is obviously using the engine day in, day out. And they are just beautiful engines. They give a, um, they're so smooth, so free of vibration and harshness, no matter where the revs are. Um, I mean, it is a, that Honda, you know, within the trade certainly are, are known for this and that, you know, for giving this kind of power delivery and also the, the kind of, the, almost like a Swiss watch in the way they operate. It's just so smooth. Um, and very economical as well, by the way, you know, driven, especially on longer trips, um, you know, you can get sort of very, very good economy out of these vehicles. Engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox. Uh, clutch on the car, absolutely perfect. Bike points exactly where it's meant to be. Um, and it's then feeds through, sorry, complete distract there. Um, Clutch then feeds into this six-speed manual gearbox, which, as I say, in all these manual gearboxes, I mean, it could so easily go in to a sports car. It's that good. It gives you really short throws for the gears, um, which is a stark contrast to so many of its competitors. Um, but what it also gives you sort of just a wonderfully accurate gear change as well that um, you know selecting gear you do add to pleasure not necessarily as a chore and you know because so many gear changes can be kind of so obstructive to use uh, the fact the gear lever sort of mounted nice and high up as well is really nice um, and I can't feel anywhere in the, the gear linkage at all it just felt absolutely as new the steering on the car um, tracks dead straight there's no vibrations at all that the speed or any speed up to the legal limit and again, a really nice power steering system. Honda know this market so well, so they do know what kind of their customers want, potentially others as well, because um, it gives you, uh, you know, the, this sort of, it's, it's hard to say, it's not heavy feeling, it just makes the car feel really solid and secure on the road. Um, but it's very precise. It's quicker than you'd expect as well, the steering. I've got one of these and uh, I had to sort of do a dash across country and it's, it's a really impressive car. So go, go through corners like this, minimal turn in, holds its line really beautifully well and it kind of flows through. Um, it's wonderful. And the chassis is part of that, of course. You know, the chassis responds really nicely. The damping's brilliant on it. it body control is superb. The ride comfort is really, really good as well, um, because it's quite a hard thing to strike a good compromise, which is what suspension is all about. Um, too hard and it, it's just unpleasant. Too soft and you know it's smooth on the dead ahead, but it, it can be particularly unpleasant through the corners. It can be quite wallowy. Um, I'm going to turn around here because there's uh, some traffic lights have materialised overnight. So and that's the halfway point. So I'm going to come back this way. Um, but yeah, the suspension, it's, it, it's you know, the CRV is the best selling SUV in the world and you, you can see why because they, they have struck such a wonderful um, balance between, say, the ride and the sort of handling characteristics of the car. What I'm also looking for, by the way, on road test is any kind of noises that are coming from underneath the car that shouldn't be there, kind of sort of rattles or clonks. Um, there's nothing, absolutely nothing. You wouldn't expect it on a CRV at this age anyway. Um, and there's, there, there, there's nothing at all there. 
it is going to go actually for an independent MOT um, in a couple of days time so all these things will, will be checked brakes on the car make sure no one's behind me really nice solid brake pedal on the vehicle um, so I'm looking for good initial bite um, no pulsing or vibrations coming back through the pedal and there is nothing at all it's absolutely spot on coming inside the vehicle first things first they are just beautifully beautifully made cars no squeaks no rattles nothing at all absolutely fantastic and also a lovely place to sit and operate a car uh, dashboard whilst very well equipped is actually very simple to operate sat nav you can see they're working perfectly air conditioning which is dual zones so you can have different temperatures side to side again all working exactly as it should um, quality of the switch gear simply brilliant absolutely brilliant um, heated seats again checked dashboard is very very simple um, to, to operate and sort of take the information in from as well the steering wheel is lovely and sort of small in diameter and feels great in hand um, this car as you probably know from the advert comes with a really lovely option um, it's got the active cruise control um, which I've used on so many occasions and particularly when you're going through like average speed um, cameras on the motorway where you're trying to maintain a, a given speed and of course the speed in front of you it kind of fluctuates massively um, so what it does is there's a radar built into the Honda badge in the front and it will slow you down and speed you up accordingly it's just fantastic to use and of course it has the collision mitigation system as well so if you've got a bit too close to the car in front at a junction say it will hammer on the brakes and pre-tension the, the seat belts for you um, and again all working perfectly just press the button there I could, but it would be helpful if I selected cruise control of course um, and then activate it and it all works exactly as it should so just there you can also maintain you can change the distance to the or the gap of the, the car in front so I'm going to lose that battle with him he's quite big um, so if you're on the motorway you uh, you know you might want to sort of give yourself a bigger gap um, but it said all working exactly as it should and a lovely lovely feature to have on the car if you've not used it before I thoroughly recommend you do it's just wonderful um, this is a four-wheel drive CRV um, albeit there are no buttons to press to activate it because it does it all for you Honda worked out really quickly that most people would be driving as I am today in perfectly good conditions um, if you've got four-wheel drive constantly whirring away that means you're going to be chewing up your tyres more quickly it's certainly going to be getting through more fuel and definitely putting more mechanical stress to the vehicle um, so basically if the front wheel started to lose grip because it runs in front wheel drive the whole time um, let's say on mud or ice or snow it would instantly bring in the rear wheels to give you four wheel drive and it's really smooth in transition uh, we tow a caravan with ours and never come close to getting stuck with one its simplicity also gives it its reliability by the way because we've never so much as put a spanner on one absolutely brilliant systems as I said at the start of the video the point as brief as it may be is literally just to show the car in operation but to feedback on any issues um, it literally awfully cliche to say but it literally just drives like brand new it feels absolutely fantastic which is so easy to see why they're so popular second hand and why sometimes you have to buy a slightly older one of these for the same price as a you know a cheaper version of a, another another make or model um, but they so certainly reward because they're just a lovely car to own um, as always though if you've got any questions about the car don't hesitate do give us a call